you guys. What's up? So, uh, Rachel's room, huh? Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. Oh, I'm a tr The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. Not you. Like, come back. Is she laying on top of the blankets? What's the point of the bed in a hospital if you're laying on top of the blankets instead of underneath them? <laughs> My guardian angel. I don't know about that. How are you? Not great. Mm. Better with you here. Mm. Rachel. I'm sorry. What? What for? <laughs> You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. <laughs> you were so fierce and I, I just froze. I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And you saved my life. Frank helped. You saved my life. Uh, don't do that again. Just don't do that again. Play the damsel in distress. <laughs> you got it. How about not getting no. stacked? Attack a psycho with a two by four. That was crazy. <laughs> Use flash, Chloe. I'm a little crazy. We're all a little crazy. Crazy awesome. We're all a little crazy, but not all of us smack psychos Maybe with two by fours. Here. I mean, I'm still mad at him for everything he's done. But yeah, it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know. I felt completely safe. Like, on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Depends. So, mom. <laughs> Your other mom. It's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But I think I still want to meet her. <sighs> you just got stabbed trying to find her, so yeah. Make it kind of pointless I don't even not know to. If she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is. Will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Oh, God. Then, of course. Whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Yep, of course. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is zero seven two two. Is it called breaking and entering? If your dad's office zero seven two two. That's yeah. her birthday, isn't it? Yep. My birthday. Sounded like a birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll. I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. For... 
everything. Oh, tired, huh? I'd be tired after being stabbed, too. Zero, seven, two, two. Is it breaking and entering when your friend gives you everything you need to get in there? Probably. Probably. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey. Elliot, look. Wait. Your hair is different. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. Thanks. How you been? Uh, how have you been? Like, uh, since last night? Holy shit. The Tempest was just yesterday. <laughs> yes? Uh, so much has been happening lately. I, I actually brought Rachel here just a while ago, but it feels like forever. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Uh... I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well... That's good. I guess I'll stop by. After I see Mikey. She... probably wants privacy. Oh. Right. Of course. This is awkward. I think I made it awkward. Are you two in some kind of trouble? You no. can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. I'll keep you posted. I'll make sure to keep you posted. Right now, I'm here to take care of Rachel. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Ah. Uh. I mean, um, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously, something is going on. It's... I swear, man, everything's really okay. You know, other than her being in a hospital. Okay. I trust you. I don't want to. I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Yeah. I don't want to drag more people into this. Hey, I, uh, I almost forgot. Did you, like, write on my whiteboard? Oh. <laughs> I totally did, didn't I? Yeah. I was, uh,. <laughs> Pretty sure that was your handwriting. What did I write? You wrote me a poem? Emotional, loyal, etc. Ended with, uh, talented. Oh. Well, <laughs> you are pretty talented, man. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway... See you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. My god, this is so awkward. Or maybe it's just me who feels like it's awkward. Any social reaction just makes me feel incredibly awkward. <laughs> just press it twice. Oh boy. I'm going 
kind of be breaking in or kind of breaking in. I I'm still not sure. Is it counted as breaking in if you're told how to get in? You're basically given Hello? permission to break in and steal something or look for something. Close the goddamn door, lady. Don't leave it open. You did close the door, right? Please tell me you closed the door. Um, I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. You left the front door open. That pretty <sighs> face least wanted. Um, porting officer, aggravated, brandished fire poker, hitting the victim several times about the head before fleeing the scene. Mm. Okay, it's probably in his desk, but I'm looking everywhere first. Is this all Damon? Have here? Plenty of Damon. Mark. I check the computer or some of those files laying around. Yes, let's leave it open. I thought you were smart. If it can rain ash, I guess it could snow in LA. <laughs> Look, it's gonna snow right now. <laughs> it's the big one. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Francis. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Investigate. But it's got a key somewhere so I can open it. Open a drawer. Sweet. The secret key. Now to find the secret lock. Probably the desk. Hey Price, thanks again for playing with Mikey. Haha, <laughs> it was a good game. Good luck with whatever you're dealing with. Be safe. That's from all of us. Thanks. Mikey says, tell Chloe she can handle anything. Hope so. Oh, I wonder which lock it could go to. <laughs> Couldn't possibly be to the locked drawer. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? Sheldon. Does feel like a name that I would have known. James sure keeps lots of files on people. There's probably a file on me somewhere. Pro tip. When digging for secrets, try the DA's computer. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> well... Secret boost stash. <laughs> mm. 
more sherry. I just incriminated myself, just so you know. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. James, this is enough. When I told... When you told me at the park that you weren't going to let me be a part of Rachel's life, of course I was angry, but I understood your need to protect her. It's your prerogative as a parent, but sending that man to talk sense into me, threaten me, you're losing the moral high ground here. What kind of way is that for a DA to act? What would the voters say? I have the right to meet my daughter, and the lawyer I spoke with agrees. But more importantly, Rachel has the right to know who her mother is, to know the truth. Do what you know is right. Well, time to go into the locked drawer. Locked drawer inside locked office. Seems promising. Yep, just a bit. I'm pretty sure the police are going to show up soon because you left the goddamn front door open. Welcome to Shadyville. the box all wrong ways. James's stamp collection. <laughs> Looks like a recent email Oops. from Rachel's mother. To Sarah sent all these letters and James never gave them to Rachel? so messed up. My name, to my Rachel, my name is Sarah and I am your biological mother. The first thing you should know about me is that giving you up was the worst mistake I ever made. I was struggling with something at the time, something I have been battling with ever since. The battle has taken everything from me and most importantly you, but now I am in a place where I know I can be part of your life. It is more than I deserve, I know, but I would love to try if you want to. Please take your time, and if you have anything to say or any questions, hearing from you would mean the world. I love you very much, and I hope to meet you soon. I hope it's alright for me to write you again. I haven't heard from you yet, and that's okay. It really is. I just, I feel like I have so much to catch up on, you know? I don't remember much of my life. It's a symptom of the choices I've made. So much is lost, except you. I remember everything about you, the crinkle of your nose, the depths of your eyes, a knowing smile that somehow made it seem like you'd seen it all before. I can call up whenever I want, as clear as summer day. I was so afraid, afraid that I would be a terrible mother to you, that I would screw you up the way I screwed up my own life so much. Now I know, of course, that my fear was wrong. Far worse than being a bad mother is never knowing what kind of mother I would have been. I'm sorry if you if you can find the courage to forgive me, maybe we can start over. I want to with all my might. I want to. I've read somewhere, maybe a fortune cookie, that you can never step in the same river twice because after it moves, it's not really the same river anymore. It's something new. Do you think that's true? I try to picture you reading these letters. I wonder what your reactions are, how I might seem to you, this mystery mother. I don't blame you for not writing back. You will write when you are ready. I imagine your dad is still wary of all this. That's okay. James is protective of you, just as I would be. But he's also a kind and compassionate person. That was the problem, really. I wasn't cut out for him. Or the life he wanted to give you. I knew it then, even when he didn't. I know we can never have the same relationship we should have had, but I hope we can have something new together. I hope it's so much. Sarah, in this letter, doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. James, I understand your reluctance to let me speak with Rachel, but don't you think the decision should belong to her? Everything I have done over the past year has been to prove to you that I am ready to be in Rachel's life. I have gone through rehab, I am in recovery, and I am no longer in need of money or assistance. I know I can be a positive influence for her. 
I am coming to Arcadia Bay in the hopes that we can at least meet to discuss this, so you can see how much I've changed. If you have any feelings left for me at all, you will give me a fair chance to prove myself to you, and hopefully to Rachel too. You were to love my life once. Please don't take this away from me. Dear Mr. Amber, I represent Sarah Gerhardt, lawful mother of Rachel Amber and petitioner for partial custody of Rachel Amber. Her lawful daughter, Take please take notice that Oregon law requires current guardians of minors to respond in good faith to any and all lawful petitions by parents to reestablish contact with their children. On behalf of my client, I hereby demand that you cease and desist from unlawfully denying contact between Sarah and Rachel. You are now considered to be on notice that continuing refusal will result in a petition for suit filed under Oregon family law. Wow. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. Well, shit. That's... He told a partial truth. He left out some details there. Um, I'm going to call it here. Because that phone probably has actually her number. And that's probably going to lead to more shit. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.